they say, and no face that I'd rather be. New York, New York, the scene for game number three between the two top teams in the country. It was last night in Madison Square Garden. Ten days ago, John Thompson broke out the sweater, a copy. Last night, Louis gave John the longest towel in captivity. But when the game got going, it was all Hoyas. Patrick Ewing on the slam dunk, and that's the way it went, even though Ewing missed much of the half with foul trouble. It was a tough, bruising, physical game. Mullen going down there, both benches clearing. No one was ejected at this point. St. John's then managed to keep it close. A couple of technicals were called on John, and also Karnaseka got hit. But in the end, it was simply too much Georgetown. And afterwards, a writer tried to coax Karnaseka into a controversy over the tough play. Now look, you see, their aggressive style has nothing with them putting the ball in the basket. They put the ball in the basket. We want to come out and say something, and I'm not going to say it. We got beat, we shut up, we go home. Prepare for next week. That's all. Patrick came over to me and told me that he wanted me to cut the strings down. I told him that these weren't the strings that I wanted. <laughs> no, indeed. John wants those strings down at Lexington. He already has qualified, having won the Big East tournament, along with Temple. Winner in the Atlantic 10. A couple other teams in from the East are Lehigh and Farley Dickinson. And how about this performance by the Naval Academy? They're going to the NCAA tournament, as is Iona, perhaps an underrated team. St. John's has got most of the play out of the New York area. Penn, the winner of the Ivy League, and Northeastern will go into the NCAA also. How about the probables here, Billy? Well, you have a number of them. I don't think St. John's a probable. I think they're in. I think all of those clubs are in, as a matter of fact. But I think St. John's going to be a seeded team and uh, head to the West, as I mentioned earlier. And on the fence in the East, these three good basketball teams. They are good teams. If anybody has a little edge, I go back with the experience of Boston College. Three of the last four years, they made it to the final 16. You've got to look at that type of experience. All right. Well, coming up here on CBS, Indiana is going to be playing Michigan in a few minutes. And Frank Gleaver talked to troubled Indiana head basketball coach Bob Knight just a short time ago. Has this been your most uh, frustrating year coaching? No, not really. I think that what we have have had uh, has been a kind of a juxtaposed situation. Last year, I really felt that we would have a very, very difficult time. I thought we were going to struggle last year. We had lost, in effect, our five starters from a team that went 24 and 6 and went to the regionals and might have even gone further had Kitchell not gotten hurt. Uh, I felt that we would really have an unbelievable struggle last year and almost like what we've had this year. And then last year we got a couple of uh, good breaks here and there and some things fell into place for us that, that might not ordinarily have done so. And we played uh, in such a way that we came out pretty well last year. This year, uh, some of those same things uh, have not happened for us. Uh, we've been a little bit deficient in certain areas. And as I said, I think almost have had a season about what I anticipated having a year ago. Now you've been coaching for something like 19 months straight, and some say uh, you may be a little burned out at this point and ready to get away from it, and uh, that that may be behind some of the, the controversy this season. Uh, is that a factor? Oh, the, the only controversy that's existed this season, Frank, is my throwing a chair. That was a dumb thing to do, and I mentioned that. The rest of it, if it's controversial, is a figment of anybody's imagination that made it controversial. I don't think there's a, a thing out of place with a coach using a particular starting lineup. Uh, if I have to uh, uh, drop a player from the squad because he doesn't uh, maintain the academic standards that have been set down before him long ago and a variety of other reasons, I don't think that uh, there's anything at all controversial about those things. Your chair throwing career is over, however? Well, who knows? I, I, I don't know. Uh, Sid Hartman, a good friend of mine with the Minneapolis Tribune, said that he thought that he might try to enter it as an Olympic sport. <laughs> Surprising not to see Indiana in the tournament this year. And, of course, I subscribe to the theory that Bobby perhaps is a little tired, as are some of the players who participated in that program, too. We can see them slowing down here at this point of the season. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the man they call the Baron in just a moment.